So what kind of body does a tree dweller need? Grasping hands, alarms to reach distant branches, a long tail perhaps to help with balance. So nothing like this then. These are hyrax, and in this safari lodge in Kenya, they've acquired a taste for sunbathing. And looking at their general body shape, you might think that they were about as good in trees as rabbits or guinea pigs. But actually, they're surprisingly capable at climbing around in the branches. And the reason has to do with their very special feet. Their rubbery soles don't look particularly special, and indeed you can only see how effective they are when their owners stop lacing about in the sun and go off to feed. Hyrax have an extremely flexible spine, and that helps them to scamper up the trunks of trees with surprising speed. But it's their feet that help them stay up there. There are special muscles in the middle of each foot which pull up the center of the sole. The pads are moist, so this creates a slight suction which improves their grip, though not all that much. Watching them clamber around like that makes me feel I ought to be standing underneath with a net, just in case they fall. And what is the reward for this high wire act? Leaves. They supply the hyrax with both food and drink. Succulent leaves are hard to find down on the ground, but up in the branches, hyrax can get all they need for the day in a couple of hours. So climbing trees is vitally important for a hyrax, even if it does slip every now and then.